one of the OG Spider-Man ever had to go through stuff like this. My girlfriend left me. I've tried to reveal my secret identity to my mom, but she just laughs in my face. My boss is a dick. The only thing I don't have is some nosy-ass reporter following me around taking pictures. However, I do seem to get myself in a lot of trouble in Hell's Kitchen. It's like I can't avoid that place. And there's some trouble right there. There's some cars speeding through. I guess I should probably go and do the superhero thing, right? But I wonder what would happen if just for one night, just one night, that I wasn't Spider-Man anymore. That I could go back to being Miguel. And that all these crazy supervillains and superheroes could just have it out. And the last man standing, rather be a hero or a villain, would have some sense to straighten up. I'm tired of playing the hero. I'm tired of putting my life on the line day after day after day after day after day. Let me know when you get tired of hearing these days. And still, no reward. No thank you. No, hey, how about having a great day? How about taking a superhero vacation? The new Fantastic Four hasn't even invited me to their place. <laughs> well, I guess I wouldn't invite me to my place either if I just got dragged to a compost heap by the Green Goblin. And he escaped. To top all that off, he freaking escaped. And you know what's even worse? I have a friend, and his name is Something Fisk. But you probably know him as Daredevil. And sometimes, he doesn't even bother to show up and help. You know, we once tag teamed on the Hobgoblin and the Green Goblin. We kicked their ass, and then the hand showed up. That's right, the hand. They still exist in 2099. Led by some guy who claims he's a descendant of Wolverine. But, what do I know? I don't even know who the hell Wolverine is. I'm gonna go fight crime now. You guys, have a wonderful good day.